time before the tying goal, do you think that your helmet was intentionally pulled off, and did you know you could have put the helmet back on and just didn't think you had enough time to? Um, I mean, I think it was uh, one of those plays where they came off. Uh, can't say if it was intentional or not. He was falling, but um, in the heat of the moment, yeah. Um, the rule is I probably could have um, put it on again, but in the heat of the moment, I think it was. I tried to get it get to the bench and, and get a change in before, so um, I think, uh, yeah, it was an unfortunate play. Rob Rossi, you said after last season you needed to be better. How much better were you, and what do you want to improve on going into this summer? Um, I think the first first half of the season was a lot better for me. Um, I think the last month I kind of took a step back, but I think in the playoffs I, I felt like I, I got my game back where I wanted to be. And, um, so I think I want to take another step. Um, like I said, the, the, fir the first half of the season was really good for me. And, um, kind of want to uh, build on that, I think. And last virtual one, what do you think you and John rediscovered as a pair in this season? Um, just how we want to play, you know, like we want to be a solid pair. Um, want to help each other out out there. I think um, we really came back to that as in, in helping each other out and using each other's strengths. I mean, he's a great puck handler, a puck, great puck mover. Um, he, he really um, excelled in that department, I think. And um, so, yeah, just using our strengths and, and helping each other. Jeff in the back. Marcus, what have you learned from Chris and what have these couple of seasons with him um, meant to you? Uh, I've learned a lot. You know, he uh, he's a guy that plays a ton of minutes every night. He plays so hard. Um, you know, he, he never seems to get tired out there. So. I learned a lot about just being able to handle the minutes out there, but still play hard. Um, I mean, you can see he, he, he skates so well. He had a career year. Um, so I think it's really impressive. And just the, the day to day stuff and, and working our game, you can see he saw out on the ice longest. Him and Sid are, and Gino are up there for the longest. So um, just how to be a pro. And, and um, yeah, it's been uh, really impressive. Michelle, Pete, I know you're just talking about your play, but it felt like regular season finale on you were making some really good offensive plays, like even that toe drag in, in game seven where you're shouting off the post. I mean, how much can plays like that maybe give you confidence where you're able to kind of produce and kind of play at both ends of the ring the last few yeah, games? Yeah, I think, um, I think I'm, I'm able to make those plays. Um, I think my, the next step for me is, is kind of having the confidence to do that stuff. And, and um, I think I find a good balance where I can make offensive plays, but I don't have to chase them. Uh, chase them if, if they're not there. Um, so take what is given and um, make those plays when they're there. Thanks, Steve. Thank you.